Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another Friday service. We're just going to open up with a quick word of prayer. Just to thank God for bringing us all here today. For everybody who is here in person, everybody who is listening in. Father, we thank you. We praise you and we worship you for another week, for another day, for another time in your presence. Thank you, O Lord, for your Holy Spirit. We've started looking at the Holy Spirit. We continue looking at the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the Holy Spirit's power. We thank you for the Holy Spirit's peace. Lord Father God, we ask for the Holy Spirit to be ushered in once again today as we begin the service, as we praise you as we worship you lord father please accept the small that we bring lord father let it just be a sweet sound to your ears heavenly father we commit the service of today into your hands everything that we are going to do lord father god it will be good there will be miracles there will be signs and wonders the holy spirit will really work will really move we've seen it happen before we'll see it happen again father we worship you we thank you for each and every person here, each and every person watching online or listening online. And we pray that, Lord Father God, every single one of us will be blessed. We will not leave here the same way that we came. Lord, if we came empty, we are going back full in the name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So please join along with us. Stand up on your feet if you can. Welcome in this place, welcome in this place, we give to you the highest praise. Spirit, welcome in this place. Welcome in this place. We give to you the highest praise. This place we give to you the highest praise. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome, welcome. This place, you are welcome, welcome in this place. We give to you the highest praise, you're welcome, welcome. This place, 
we give to you the highest praise welcome in this place hallelujah our father all of heaven rush your name sing louder let this place erupt with praise can you hear it the sound of heaven touching earth the sound of heaven touching earth our father all of heaven rush your name sing louder let this place erupt with praise can you hear it the sound of heaven touching earth the sound of heaven touching earth our father all of heaven rush your name sing louder let this place erupt with praise can you hear it the sound of heaven touching earth the sound of heaven touching earth spirit break out Break our walls down. Spirit, break out. Heaven, come down. Spirit, break out. Break our walls down. Spirit, break out. Heaven, come down. King Jesus, you're the name we're lifting high. Your glory is shaking up the earth and sky. Revival, we want to see your kingdom here. We want to see your kingdom here, King Jesus. You're the name we're lifting high. Your glory is shaking up the earth and sky. Revival, we want to see your kingdom here. We want to see, we want to see your kingdom here. We want to see, we want to see your kingdom here. We want to see, we want to see your kingdom here. Spirit, break out. Break our walls down. Spirit, break out. Heaven, come down, Holy Spirit, Spirit, break out, break our walls down, break our walls down, Spirit, break out. Heaven come down. One more time, spirit break out. Spirit break out. Break our walls down. 
spirit break out. Heaven come down. There is only one name. Only one name. There is only one name. There is only one name. With the power to save with the power to save there is only one name there is only one name there is only one name with the power with the power to save to save the name of Jesus. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Let's give him glory, honor. The only name that can save, the only name that can deliver, the only name that can set free, the only name that can heal. Only one name, the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Let's give him glory, honor, adoration. Let's thank him. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Yes, he is worthy. There is none like him. He is worthy, King of glory, everlasting Father, the I am that I am. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for bringing us here this evening, O oh God, bringing us together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for taking us to our various destinations and bringing us back home safely. Those online, thank the Lord. Thank him for taking you home safely. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the only one name. Only one name that has power to save, power to set free, power to deliver. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank him for the cross. Thank him. Bless you, Father God. Bless you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we have worship. Amen. Amen. Um, our theme, we all know, is the Holy Spirit, and today is um, the presence of the Holy Spirit, and um, I'm reading Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were, they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clove of, uh, clove tongues like, like as on fire. And it sat upon each and every of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit. Uh, Acts 2, Luke, they says in verse 1, it says they were all in one accord. And as we are here gathered together, we have to be in one accord. We should be in one accord. We only want one thing, is the presence of the Holy Spirit. We want here. What happened on Sunday, we want greater measure to happen here all the time, always. Every time we gather together. So we're going to go to God in prayer and ask God to search us. Is there anything we need to be in one accord? Is there anything that we hinder the move of the Holy Spirit? Is there anything? So let's search ourselves. Let's ask God to search us and let's um, ask for forgiveness. Anything that we hinder the move of the Holy Spirit, let's ask God to forgive us. Let's search ourselves. The Bible says in um, 1 John 1, 9, it says, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's ask God to forgive and have mercy. It's a year of mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. 
that thing nothing we do not want anything to hinder the move of the holy spirit so whatever it is that will hinder us the move of the holy spirit let's ask god to cleanse to cleanse us as i read in first john 1 9 let's ask god to cleanse cleanse us in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We want the move of the Holy Spirit. We want it mighty. Mighty. Like on the day of Pentecost. So let's, they were all in one accord. Expecting one thing. The one. That was the Holy Spirit. That is what we are together here this evening. We are expecting the the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. Amen. Uh, And in 2, verse 2, And suddenly came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were all sitting, like we're sitting together today. So this evening, let's pray that the wind of God will flow, will come down mightily from heaven, that the wind of God, the Holy Spirit, will rush down mightily from heaven. Yes, I experienced that wind once that was some time ago, I was a new believer. I didn't know what was happening to me, but the, I felt the wind, the wind of God that, that picked me up. So this is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore, and he's still doing it. What happened in this um, Acts chapter 2, verse 2, is happening today. It's happening today. So we can, we can ask for it to happen here, here mightily. From, from heaven to happen here in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. Let's pray for the wind, the wind to fill. And those that are at home, God has no respect of persons. He will meet you wherever you are at your point of need. So ask for the wind of God. He can come to you in your living room, in your bedroom. It doesn't matter where you are. God can do the the wind of God can come. Holy Spirit can come and blow. Mighty is mighty wind from heaven. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The wind of God, the wind of God, mighty is mighty. Let's the mighty wind of God to fill this house. To fill this house. They were all sitting in one accord, and the wind of God came mightily, mightily in the house where they were sitting. So let's pray for that mighty wind of God. That mighty wind of God, let's pray for it in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come mightily, mighty. We had we had an experience on Sunday. We want more of that. We want more, more. We want God to set us on fire. We want the Holy Spirit to come down mighty and set us on fire. Set our hearts on fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We want more, more of him, more of him. Let's pray in the name of Jesus, the mighty wind of God, the mighty wind of God to come mightily from heaven and touch everyone in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Now we go to the... um, there appeared unto them 
clothed tongues like on fire of fire and he sat upon each and every one of them yes we want the holy spirit to come mightily upon us with fire and set our hearts on fire there's a revival coming we need to be set on fire we need to be empowered by the holy spirit we need the holy spirit to move through us so let's pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Clove, that clove, clove tongues like of fire, and he sat upon each. We want that clove of uh, that fire to sit upon each and every one of us, to set us on fire, to set our hearts on fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Like we were told on Sunday, the Holy Spirit is by you. The Holy Spirit dwells in you also. The Spirit of God is in you also. We need to activate it. We need to pray. And we need to be sensitive, sensitive to the Holy Spirit. When you, you feel the Holy Spirit, you, you will feel the Holy Spirit by you. You will feel the power of God touching you. That's the Holy Spirit. You will feel, maybe it will come like a song on when you're walking or sitting you will feel the, the holy spirit you need to be sensitive we need to be sensitive to the holy spirit let's pray that we will be sensitive to the holy spirit to the holy spirit in the name of jesus we'll be sensitive to the holy spirit he's by us he's with us always he said he will never leave us or forsake us he's with us all we need to do is to acknowledge him, be sensitive and acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. He's there always to guide us, to direct us, to show us the way, to show us the things we need to do. The Holy Spirit is, is, is with us. He's there. We need to be sensitive. We need to be sensitive to the, to the Holy Spirit. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. God, help us. Help me to be sensitive. Help us to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Whenever he comes, when he blows, when he nudges you to say something or give you a word, is the Holy Spirit directing you. Comfort to you is the Holy Spirit. We need to be sensitive to him, to his move. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Being sensitive to the Holy Spirit whenever he's around. Be sensitive. Be sensitive to him. He's there. He's there. He's waiting for you to acknowledge him. He's waiting for you to, to know that he's around because he wants to do, do you good. He wants to do us good. He's always there, showing us the way, directing us. He wants to do something in our lives. He's always there. We need to be sensitive. In the name of Jesus, let's pray that we'll be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, to the Holy Spirit. And when we see, when we notice that he's there, we need to yield to the Holy Spirit. Let him have his way. Yield to the Holy Spirit to have his way. Because if he doesn't have his way, if we don't yield to him, to the Holy Spirit, he will not, we, will, we won't experience what he, he wants to do in our life. We will not be able to, to um, enjoy what he has for us so let's pray that we will yield to the holy spirit when we notice that he's there he's he sends a word if he sends tells you a word he brings a song maybe the song is for you to to praise him or to warfare or to pray it could be it could be to do anything 
but because he wants to do something in our lives. That's why he's around. That's why he's with us. The comforter, the healer, whatever, he's there. He's the one that guides us, directs us. Let's pray that we will yield to him when we notice that he's around. We follow his path. Follow him where he's going. Yield to his, his will in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. the name of Jesus. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. We need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's in verse 4. Those that are online listening, the Holy Spirit can fill you wherever you are. Wherever you are sitting, the Holy Spirit, you've, 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 asked, you've asked for the Holy Spirit to come to come and, and dwell. So he will, he, will, he will do it. He will do it. The Bible said that if you ask, you will receive. Knock and the door will be open. Seek and you will find. So wherever you are, you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We want to be filled. So ask the Holy Ghost to fill you, to fill you anew, to fill you anew. In the name of Jesus, you need the Holy Ghost. And those that don't can that's not able to speak in the Holy Ghost, this is the time for you to ask. It's a free gift from God to speak, to speak in tongues, to be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray that we'll be filled. This at the end time. We need the Holy Ghost to do the work that he has sent us to do. We need the Holy Ghost. We need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Let's pray in the name of Jesus that we'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. This is the time to ask for the Holy Ghost to be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Now let's pray with the tongues that the, the, the Lord God gave to us, speaking in tongues. Let's open our mouth and speak and pray in tongues in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Santa Kaya Baba Shete Kora Baba. Ye Masete Kaya Baba Shete Koriya Baba Sete. When we're speaking in tongues, we're not talking to man, we're talking to God. And what do we want? We want our life to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We want this place to be filled with the, with the, with the, the, the presence of God. So let's pray with the language that God gave to us. And those that, that can't speak, that can't pray in the tongues, this is the time to ask. Ask now and you will receive it. It's a free gift. Oh, masete kaya bashete. Kora mama sete kaya masete. Kori ababa shete kaya masete. Kora baba sete santa. Kori mama shete sente. Kori ababa sete. Holy Ghost, have your way. Have your way in this place in the name of Jesus. Oh, Masete Kaya Baba Shete. Kora Mama Sete Kaya Baba Shera Basete. Oh, Rama Masete Santa. Kori Baba Shete Sente. Let's welcome the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. In our midst, let's welcome him. We already welcome him. Let's welcome him one more time. 
In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Oh, Masete Kayababa. Yama Soto Koraba Shete Sente. Koria Baba Sete. Yes, Lord, we want your presence at all times. We want your presence to fill this place. Fill this place to overflow. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Masete Kayababa Shete. Koraba Baba Sete. Kayama Sete. Koraba Baba Shete. Koria Mama Santa. Kayama Masete. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Mama Masete Santa, oh Baba Shete Santa Kaya Baba, ye Mama Masete Korea Baba Shete Kaya Mama Sete. Yes, we want to experience the move of God in this place. As we did on Sunday, we want a greater measure. In the name of Jesus, we want more, more of God, more of his fire in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Masete, Kaya Mama, Shete, Santa, Kaya Mama, Sete. Oh, Rababa, Shete, Kaya Mama, Sete. Oh, Mama, Masete, Kaya Baba. Yama Soto, Kora, Baba, Shete, Santa. Like the day of Pentecost is happening today. There is revival in all places, in all different um, um, churches. There is revival. We want that. We want that in our church. In the name of Jesus, uh, it will happen. The, our God is the same yesterday, today. He changeth not. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Masete Kaya Baba Shete Kaya Mama. Soto Kora Baba Shete. Kaya Masete Koria Baba. Yama Soto Kora Baba Shete. Maba Soto Koria Mama. The presence of the Holy Spirit. We want it to fill this, uh, this sanctuary. The presence of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Mama Sete Kaya Baba. Ye Mama Masoto Kora Baba Shete. When Baba Sete, when the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Holy Spirit, the people were not able to minister. This is what we want. We want that experience. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. Let's pray. In our, we're talking to God, not to man. Oh, Masete Kaya Baba. Yama Soto Koria Baba Shete Kaya Masete. Kora Baba Shanta Kaya Mama Sete Koria Baba. Ye mama sete kora baba sete. Ora mama sete kaya baba sete. Ora mama shanta kaya baba. Ye mama sete sente kaya baba sete. Kora baba shete kaya mama. Ha ye mama soto kora baba shete santa. Ora baba sete. Ha ye mama mama sete koria baba shete santa. Your presence, O oh Lord, your presence is what we desire. We want more of your presence in our midst, in this place, uh, in our lives, O oh God, your presence, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Masete Kaya Bashete Kaya Mama. Soto Kora Bashete Kaya Mama Sete. Koria Mama Sete Santa. Oh, Mama Sete, the presence of God can hit you. In your living room, in your bedroom, wherever you are, the, the, the presence of God can hit you. Just flow in, 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 his, in the tongues, the, the, the father tongues. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Masete Kaya Baba. Yama Soto Kora Baba Shete Santa. Kora Baba Baba Sete. Kora Mama Sete. Your present, Lord. Your present. We need your present. Huh? Your present, oh God. Oh Mama Shanta Kaya Baba Sete. Kora Baba Shete Kaya Mama Sete Kaya Baba. Yama Soto Kora Mama Sete. We want more. We want more. We want more. More than we did on Sunday. We want more. More of you, O oh God. More. We want more. In the name of Jesus. Oh Masete Kaya Mama Sete. Korea Baba. Yama Masete. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. You are welcome. You are welcome in, the, in our lives. You are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. In this place, you are welcome. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. He, we want him to do great and mighty things in our midst, in our midst this evening, greater than he did on Sunday. We want more, more in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. 
Have your way, have your way in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. You're welcome. You're welcome. We welcome. Come and do what you want to do in our midst. Come and do what only you can do in, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my sete kaya baba shete kaya mama. Soto kora baba shete kaya mama sete. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Have your way in our midst. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my Santa, Kaya Baba Shera Basete Santa, Kora Baba Shete, Kaya Mama Sete, Ora Mama Sete, Kaya Mama Sete, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Let's continue to pray in tongues. Let's continue to pray in tongues and invite him. He's here already. He's, he's going to do great and mighty things in our midst. In our midst, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my city, Kaya Baba Shete Kura, Mama City, Santa Kaya Mama City. Oh, yes, there is nothing more that we desire. It's the Holy Spirit. We desire you more than anything. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you in our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh my shata kaya mama shete kaya baba sete kuriya baba oh raba baba shata kaya mama sete. Fill this sanctuary with with your presence, your presence, oh Lord, your presence, oh Lord. Oh my sete kaya baba shete Santa kura baba baba shete. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, oh my sete kaya baba shete Santa. Santa, oh yes, Holy Spirit, we give you the highest praise. We welcome you. We welcome you. We say thank you. Oh, masete kaya baba shera basete sunto kori baba shete kaya mama sete kora baba baba sete kaya mama sete kora mama sete. Yes, in your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord, is heaven to us. Your presence, oh Lord. Oh, my sete kaya mama shete, kora baba shete kaya mama, ye mama sete kori baba shete kaya mama sete. Holy Spirit, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, Holy Spirit, have your way, Holy Spirit, have your way. We want you, great, great measure. Yes, Lord, have your way. Let your wind blow. Let the fire come, the fire of God. Let it come in the name of Jesus. Set our hearts on fire. Set us on fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my sete kaya baba shete. Oh, my masete, the wind of God, the wind of God to blow. Ye masete kaya masete koria baba. Ye mama masete kaya baba shera basete. Soto kora baba shete santa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Oh, my sete kaya mama shete kaya mama sete kuriya baba. Oh, rama mama sete santa kaya mama shete santa. There's nothing welcome. Your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord, is what our heart desire. Your presence, O oh God, your presence, O oh Lord, your presence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for your presence, your presence in our midst. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place. Have your way in this sanctuary. Have your way in our, in our lives. Have your way. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
praise the Lord. Yeah, we bless the name of the Lord for that session. Uh, not um, being sensitive, I mean, being sensitive to the Spirit of God and also yielding to the Spirit of God. And I'm going to continue um, just on that same uh, uh, platform. Let me put it that way. But this evening, I want to um, talk about not grieving the Holy Spirit. We know that the presence of the Holy Spirit we have started to experience, and we need to know the secret of keeping that going. If we want to continue to see the Holy Spirit manifest himself, we want to continue to enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit, then we need to know how not to grieve him what we need to do to make him to continue to manifest himself in our midst. And that is why I want to touch on that tonight, so that we don't quench the Spirit of God. We don't grieve the Spirit of God, so that he can continue to flow. And then the revival we are desiring to see, you know, will now become a reality. So I'm going to start by reading um, the book from the book of Ephesians chapter 4. I'll read verses 30 to 32, and then I'll back up again to verse 22. But let me start from verse 30, and it says, I'm reading the New Living Translation. You may have a different translation, but I'm reading from the New Living Translation. And it says, do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. That is simple enough for us to understand. We can bring sorrow, or we can grieve the Spirit of God. We can bring sadness to the Spirit of God by the way we live. And it says, remember, he has identified you as his own. The minute we give our lives to him, uh, to Jesus, we are identified as God's own children. The spirit of God lives on the inside of us. You know, we are identified as his own. And that guarantees us that he's able to keep us till the end. If only we align with him and if only we agree with him. And he says, I mean, therefore, get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander. I mean, I don't need to, ex to explain those ones. I believe that they are, that's why I'm reading the New Living Translation, because those are day the, the simple, um, I would say the day-to-day -day language that we can all identify with, as well as all types of evil behavior. We need to get rid of them for the Holy Spirit to continue to move not only in the church but also in our lives because as individuals we can grieve him and as a church we can grieve him. Then it continues reading, instead be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another just as God through Christ has forgiven you. So we can see that this, the, 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 these are some of the things that we do, that also grieve the Holy Spirit. Um, we learned on Sunday that the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. So, um, he, because he's a person, or he's a personality, he has all the attributes of a person. He has feelings, and that means he can be grieved. That means he can be, um, he can be uh, taken for granted. That means, you know, he, 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 he can see, he can speak. All the feelings and all the attributes of human beings, he also has. Now, let me back up to verse 22 of that passage. Let's go just back, off, um, back up to verse 22, and then I will just say a few things and we'll begin to pray. Verse 22 says, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life. That means if we're still holding on to our old sinful nature, and our former way of life will be grieving the Holy Spirit, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. So by allowing him to renew our thoughts and our attitude, then he can be free. He can move freely among us. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Then verse 25 says, so stop telling lies. So stop telling lies. Let us tell our neighbors the truth. 
For we are all parts of the same body. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Two things there. Telling lies, as simple as it may sound. Yes, the Bible is touching on it. Telling lies. And don't allow anger to control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. For anger gives a foothold to the devil. In verse 28, it says, if you are a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good hard work and then give generously to others in need. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And then back to verse 30, and do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. So I believe that, you know, those, those are simple, simple things. I mean, simple words that don't need any kind of interpretation. The Bible is very clear. The things that we do that can grieve the Holy Spirit. We have gone through a list of them. But what does it really mean to grieve the Holy Spirit? Like we have read in that um, version, it says to bring sorrow, to make him feel sad, to make him feel offended, um, to make him... Um, become sorrowful, to cause great distress or to hurt or inflict pain on him or to break his heart. Like I said, he's a person. And so he has all the attributes of a person. If a human being can feel offended, the Holy Spirit can. If a human being can feel sad, the Holy Spirit can. If a human spirit can, I mean, if, the, if a human spirit can, a human heart can be broken, the heart of the Holy Spirit can be broken. And this is what we do to him when we grieve him. We make him sad, we make him feel offended, we make him sorrowful, we cause distress to him and also inflict pain, you know, breaking his heart. And that is why we need to be careful as we are beginning to see the move of the Holy Spirit. We need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and be sensitive to the things that we need to do and the things that we don't need to do or that we, don't, that we must not do. And we have examples of people in the Bible that grieve the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to go into details, but you know um, the story of Ananias and Sapphira in Acts chapter 5, verse 3. They, they grieved the Holy Spirit, and before they even knew it, you know, they were judged. And off they went. They, they, you know, the, the Holy Spirit dealt with them, and they died. We know the story of Samson as well. When he revealed the secret of his power to Delilah, in Judges chapter 16, he grieved the Holy Spirit. And he thought he could just, you know, shake himself like, as a, as a, as like other times. Just shake himself and then, you know, the Spirit will come back. But unfortunately, the Spirit left. And he didn't know it until that moment when he tried to shake himself and nothing happened. So, there are, the Bible is full of examples of people that grieve the Holy Spirit and what happened. So, when we grieve the Holy Spirit, there are consequences. What are the consequences of grieving the Holy Spirit? Number one, we put him off. When we grieve him, we put him off. He's put off. Just like when, um, when somebody is offended, the person is put off. You know, off whoever has offended the person. You don't, you don't feel like, you know, relating to that person again. The Holy Spirit also is put off. And so he leaves our lives or he withdraws. And that can result in the loss of joy. The, the um, a loss of assurance of salvation, loss of peace, you know, there will be um, loss of fellowship with him, we will lose his presence, we will lose his guidance, and ultimately somebody can even end up with a wilderness experience. When the Holy Spirit leaves, everything leaves. There is nothing left. That is number one, he's put off. Number two, he, he, um, one can be delivered to Satan to be tormented. When the Holy Spirit leaves our lives, like I said, the life is empty. So even the, even the prayer life of that person becomes zero. Um, the example of Saul in the Bible, when the Spirit of God left him, the Bible tells us that the, a, an evil spirit from God came and tormented him. I mean, somebody that had the Spirit of God, when the Spirit of, of God left, the spirit, the, a, an evil spirit from, you know, from God came and was tormenting him. So some, when the Holy Spirit leaves, somebody can be delivered to the enemy to be tormented. And we see so many examples, you know, of the Israelites in the scriptures. Each time they provoked God, they provoked God. 
God delivered them to the tormentors. He will use people around them, he, their enemies, to capture them and then, you know, send them into slavery and they will be tortured and tormented in, in various ways. That is what, what happens when we grieve the Holy Spirit. And number three, um, when we grieve the Holy Spirit, we can become an enemy of God. The Bible says in Isaiah 63 verse 10, again, the living, New Living tra uh, Translation, it says, but they, this is talking about the children of Israel again, but they rebelled against him and grieved his Holy Spirit. So he became their enemy and fought against them. So God, it, it became, I mean, it came to a time that God became an enemy to them and God started to fight them, fought against them. You know, it's easy when somebody is your enemy, when a human being is your enemy, you will run to God. But when God now becomes an enemy and he begins to fight you, who do you run to? There is no respite in any, in any other person, nowhere to run to. So that is why we must make sure that we don't grieve the Holy Spirit and he doesn't leave us as individuals, live our lives, or even leave, you know, the church. And also, lastly, there could be physical death as well if repentance is not sought very quickly. You know, God can forsake somebody completely and that can also result in physical death. Um, time will not permit me, but in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, Verses 1 to 11, there are so many examples of that as well. So we are going to pray. With a few, I have, with a few things I have said, we need to um, ask the Lord as individuals to help us. So that we don't grieve him. We are, we, we are beginning to see very little, tiny move of the Holy Spirit. And we want to see more. We want that to continue. That is how revival starts. But some people that have experienced revival in time past, after some time, they just, you know, live carelessly or they start doing some stuff. And before you know it, the Holy Spirit just lives and that revival dies. We don't want that to happen to us as individuals. We don't want it to happen to us as a church. And that is why, you know, the Lord is helping, is telling us that we, we need to keep the presence of the Holy Spirit. There are certain, we need to be very sensitive. There are things that we must avoid in our lives as individuals and also as a church. So before we begin to pray, I want us to take this song. Creating me a new heart, oh Lord. Well, yeah, Caroline, can you please help me? A renew a right spirit within me. Carefully, I want us to sing it. Creating me a clean heart, oh Lord. A renew a right spirit within me. to tell the Lord, oh Lord have mercy on me and forgive me in any way, in any form that I have grieved your spirit. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on me and forgive me. 
we need to cry out to God and say, Lord, in, in whatever way, in whatever form, have I grieved him through bitterness? Have I grieved him through anger? Uncontrollable, or uncontrollable anger. Have I grieved him through harsh words? Have I grieved him through slander? Have I grieved him through hatred? Have I grieved him through unforgiveness? Have I grieved him through telling lies? Have I grieved him through stealing? Have I grieved him through the use of foul language, abusive language? Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, have mercy. Even, even the people that know me may not know, but you know. You can see, you know. You can zero down on me. Father, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, oh God. Have mercy upon me according to your loving kindness. I want you to look within. I want you to begin to search yourself. How have you grieved him? How have you grieved him? Through all those things that we read. How have I grieved him? How have I grieved him? Father, have mercy. I need your mercy. I need your mercy because I want to retain your presence. I want to retain your glory. I want to retain your manifestation. Not only in my life, but in my family. Not only in my family, but also in the church, in the body of Christ. In whatever way, in whatever form. Lord, that I have grieved your spirit. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. According to your loving kindness, have mercy. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, O oh God. Oh, Father, help me. Tonight, Lord, I lay myself before you, before you, before the altar. Lord, I open myself up before you. And I'm saying, Lord, have mercy. Just help me, Lord. Have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. Where else can I go? Where else can I go? If the Holy Spirit forsakes me, where else can I go? If God becomes my enemy, where else do I turn to? Who else do I turn to? Oh, in the name of Jesus, do not forsake me. Do not forsake me. Cast me not away from your presence, O oh Lord. And take not your Holy Spirit away from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, wash me thoroughly. Wash me thoroughly and cleanse me, Father. Wash me thoroughly and cleanse me, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus tonight, I want you to just open up to him. Open up to him. Open up to him. There is no hiding place in the presence of the Holy Spirit. There is no hiding place in, in the presence of God the Father. Lord, in whichever way, in whichever way, in whichever form, either knowingly or unknowingly, I have grieved your spirit tonight. I say, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me in the name of Jesus. Forgive me in the name of Jesus. I need your grace. I need your mercy. I need your mercy. I need your mercy. I need your mercy. Father, I no longer take all these things for granted because I know they can hinder the move of your spirit. They can make your spirit to leave. They can make your spirit to withdraw. Father, in the name of Jesus, I need your grace. I need your grace. I need your mercy. I need your grace. I need your mercy. I need your grace. I need your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me tonight, oh God. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me in the name of Jesus. Create in me a clean heart. A clean heart. A clean heart, a clean heart, a clean heart, Lord. Create within me a new heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, a clean heart. King of kings and the Lord of lords. Create in me, Lord, a clean heart, a clean heart, a clean heart, oh God. Renew a right spirit, a steadfast spirit within me. In the name of Jesus, a clean heart, O oh God, 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 renew a right spirit within me, a steadfast spirit within me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, renew the right spirit within me. My God, renew my thoughts, renew my attitudes, O oh God, renew my thoughts, renew my attitude, O oh God, my entire I have been, oh God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, I come before you tonight. Renew a right spirit within me. Renew the right spirit within me. Renew a right spirit within me in the name of Jesus. Lord, a clean heart. A clean heart that is acceptable before you. A clean heart. Man may not see. Even my partner may not see. My children may not even know. They may not see. But you can see. And I'm saying tonight, 
tonight, tonight, oh God, I need your grace. I need your grace. I need your touch. I need your touch. Create within me a new heart. Renew the right spirit within me in the name of Jesus. Oh, renew my thoughts. All those unclean thoughts, all those evil thoughts, oh God, renew them, renew them. Renew them, the thoughts of revenge, renew them. In the name of Jesus, renew my attitudes, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, King of kings and the Lord of lords, I need your touch. I need your touch. I need your touch. I need your touch. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. Do a new thing in my life, oh God. Do a new thing in my life, oh God. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need your touch. I need a second touch. I need your I need your touch. I need your touch. Please don't cast me away from your presence. Don't cast me away from your presence, oh Lord. Don't, don't cast me away from your presence, oh God. I don't want to be like Saul. That the Spirit of God left. And then an evil spirit came to torment him. Father, cast not. Do not take your spirit away from me. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. I don't want an exposure to an evil spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, take not your Holy Spirit from me. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, in the name of Jesus, well, wherever the Spirit has withdrawn, and we are still behaving like Samson, we thought we are still there. We thought God is still there. Oh, because we can still pray. Oh, because we are still seeing some blessings. Because we are still experiencing some mercies of God. We didn't know that the Spirit of God has left. Father, tonight, oh, where the Spirit has already been withdrawn, we didn't know. Father, tonight, restore us. Restore us, oh God. Restore us, oh God. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we need you. We need your grace. We need your help. We need your grace. We need your help, oh God. We need your grace. We need your help, oh God. Father, King of kings and the Lord of lords, uphold us. Uphold us. Uphold us. Uphold me. Uphold me. Uphold me by your generous spirit. Uphold me by your righteous hand. In the name of Jesus, Uphold me, Lord. Uphold me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, uphold me. I need you. I need you. I need your grace. I need your presence. Do not take your spirit away from me, Lord. Do not take your spirit away from me, Lord. Do not take your spirit away from me, Lord. Tonight, oh God, I turn the corner. I turn the corner. I turn the corner. In the name of Jesus, I start with you afresh, oh God. I want a fresh walk with the Holy Spirit. Oh, in the name of Jesus, a fresh encounter with your Holy Spirit. A fresh encounter with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me Lord. Help me Lord. Help me Lord. Help me Lord. Do something new. Do something new. I don't want to slide back into the error of my ways. I don't want to slide back into the error of my ways, oh God. Tonight you have nudged us. Tonight you have challenged us. Tonight you have you have you have calmed our lives. Tonight you have examined us, oh God. Tonight you have zeroed down on us. Father, tonight we are saying, do something new. Do something new. Do something new. Do something new in our lives. Creating us a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within us in the name of Jesus. Renew the right spirit within us in the name of Jesus. Renew the right spirit within us in the name of Jesus. Father, help me. Help me in the name of Jesus. I need your help. I need your grace. I need your help. I need your grace. Lord, tonight, I am not claiming any form of righteousness. Tonight, I'm just asking, cleanse my heart. Cleanse my heart. Renew the a, a, a right spirit within me. In the mighty name of Jesus, renew the right spirit within me. Renew my thoughts. Renew my attitudes. In every way, I've been displeasing the Holy Spirit. In every way, I have not listened. In every way, I have grieved the Holy Spirit. In any way, I have made him to be sad. In any way, I have hurt the Holy Spirit. All night, oh God, I do so no more. I do it no more. I do it no more. By your grace, by your power, I do it no more. In the name of Jesus, I need your grace. 
I need your touch. In the mighty name of Jesus, I need your grace. Lord, I'm not just saying it with the lips. I'm not just, I'm deep from deep within my heart. I am crying out unto you, Lord. I am crying out unto you, Lord. I am crying out unto you, Lord. Do a new thing. Do anything. Help us as a church. Wherever we've been failing, wherever we've been failing, wherever we've been grieving the Holy Spirit all night, Father, we stand in the gap for every member of this church. For every member of DICN, Lord, and we decree for that tonight. We decree your mercy. We decree your mercy. We decree your mercy. We decree your mercy. We decree your mercy over this assembly in the mighty name of Jesus. In whichever way we have grieved your Holy Spirit, in whichever way we've not been sensitive to the move of the Holy Spirit, in whichever way, Lord, we have made you unhappy. We've made the Spirit of God unhappy. Tonight we repent. We repent. We repent. We repent. As a church, we repent, oh God, and we ask King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you renew our spirits, you renew our spirits, you renew our spirits, you renew our thoughts, you renew our attitudes in the name of Jesus. We need your touch, we need your touch, we need your touch, we need your touch in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. Help us, help us, help us, help us. We need you, 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 we need your strength. We need your strength to sustain your presence, to sustain your move. We don't want the spirit of God to go. We don't, we want more of you, more of you, more of you. More of you, greater glory, 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 in the name of Jesus, greater glory. Father, we want to see more of the move of the Holy Spirit. And so tonight we are consecrating our lives afresh. We are consecrating our lives afresh. We are bringing ourselves to you afresh tonight, oh God. Father, we are praying, we are praying, we are praying and we are asking, oh God, whatever whatever we will do that will make the Holy Spirit to be lifted, that will make him to, be, to withdraw, that will make him to go away, that will make him to ignore us. Oh, Father, may we not do it again. 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 May we not do them again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We need your help. We need your grace. We need your help. We need your grace. In the name of Jesus. Touch us afresh. Touch us tonight. Touch us tonight. Tonight, touch us tonight in the name of Jesus. Anoint our hearts, oh God, for a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Anoint our hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do in the name of Jesus. Do what only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. For those of us who have joined online, who are at home, please pray. Please pray, it's serious. Because we don't want any individual. Because if, 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 if one person contaminates the move of the Spirit, it can affect the whole church. And so, Lord, you, I saw we want to pray, Lord, I will not be the Achan. <laughs> I will not be the Achan. I will not be the one that will stop the move of the Spirit. Father, it will not happen through me. In the name of Jesus, I will not be the Achan. I will not be the one that will cause the Spirit of God to stop moving. I will not be the Achan, Father. Tonight, help me. I'm consecrating myself afresh. Wherever you are, you are you're under the sound of my voice. Maybe in your house, maybe in your bedroom, maybe in your sitting room. Tonight, begin to tell the Lord, Lord, ah, I will not be the Achan. I will not be the Achan. I will not be the Achan. I will not be the one that will stop the move of the Holy Spirit. No, 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 I will not be. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, help me. I need your grace. I need your grace. I need your grace. I need your help. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, help me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus.
total yieldedness. Let's yield ourselves. Yield ourselves. Yield ourselves unto him. Holy Spirit, yes, have your way. Have your way in me. Have your way in my life. I withhold nothing. I withhold nothing. I withhold nothing. I withhold nothing. I give you everything. I give you how I, I give you my heart. I give you my life. I give you everything. Lord, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my home. Have your way. Even among us in this church. Have your way in this church, in this church, in this assembly. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your absolute sway in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Have your way. As a roundup, we're going to take that song again. Creating me a new heart, oh Lord. I renew your right spirit within me. Creating me a new heart, oh Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and renew a right spirit within me. Blessings and honor and glory and praise and glory and praise and glory and praise blessings and honor and glory and praise be unto Christ my Lord glory hallelujah blessings and honor and glory Of the Holy Spirit, our Lord, our God, 
our guardian, our helper, our supporter. Let's stand the Lord. Let's stand the Lord. Let's stand the Lord for the power of the Holy Spirit, for the presence of the Holy Spirit, for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, for the support of the Holy Spirit. Say, we are two or three people who are gathered together in my name. That is where I will be. And we supply all their needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord because your needs have been supplied. Your strength have been renewed. Your foundation have been made solid. Yes, your tree is yielding fruits. Bless him, bless him, bless him. The Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. The power that you are against you in a dream, they will never come back again. And if they come back, they will die. In the name of Jesus, whosoever will use a woman cloth, being used by the devil to rob you of your blessing, will not see the light of the day. In the name of Jesus, the glory of the Lord will continue to shine in your life. From today, whatever you lay your hand upon, you shall prosper. Amen. You will prosper in the name of Jesus. I say you will prosper in the name of Amen. Jesus. The glory of the Lord will continue to shine upon your lives. You will be great. Your children, children shall be great. Glory, 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 glory. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord, because you are God of our strength. And you that are online, I pray that sickness, you are healed. I say 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 you are healed. In the name of Jesus, it will never come back again. Glory be to your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God bless you. Before we go, let me bring out what you want to leave. So for God, Father, unto you be the glory, unto you be the adoration. Thank you, Lord, for what you are giving unto us. As we lay down before you, let your blessing be upon it. And let be used for unbeliever, for sinner, to come to your presence. 